Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about the RF Inquisitor League start for 3.23. Now let's just get everything kind of out there at once. Uh, number one, the guide has not really changed much from last league, but I did kind of add an experimental version um, to adapt to the changes. Number two, for people who haven't kept up with anything, Righteous Fires like mid game has gotten nerfed for this specific style. Uh, targeted towards the clear of the righteous fire gem itself should still totally be fine it's just going to be weaker for progression so will not be as face rolly <clears throat> the juggernaut version is kind of the same thing uh, i do have to do some slight changes on the juggernaut version to make it a little bit stronger but for now both of the guides totally work they are concrete and good to go so if you're unaware of how the righteous fire playstyle works pretty much like in this video you see here you activate your righteous fire and you pretty much just shield charge through the mobs um, I like to use my flammability curse to kind of lower their res a little bit more and then you have a fire trap for your single target uh, Expect to be using your flammability curse a little bit more Maybe even the fire trap a little bit more when we get into uh, later maps We'll be using infernal cry so we can like blow up the screen as well. It, it's pretty nice Anyway with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and kick that off and let's get started So if you've never used any of my guides before and apologies if this sounds a bit rushed We we're not really given much time the uh, new transfigured RF gem dropped, and I think there's about 10 hours till the league goes live. Although I just woke up now, so there's like four hours, so I am rushing to get everything done as fast as possible. So over here in the transfigured gems part five, we actually have mana righteous fire, but we're not going to be covering that right now. But this is another potential reason to play Inquisitor. If you end up not liking this version or you want to try the other version, you can actually respec into a hierophant, which is typically what you're going to play the mana righteous fire on. But we're not talking about that in this video. So. If you've never used my guides before, ignore that this says 3.22. These are pretty much updated for 3.23. Do know that my craft section and my league in, uh, info here, or my home, sorry, my FAQ, not fully updated yet. This is going to take time because I was waiting to see all the information. So let's just go back to the home page over here. So we're going to click the RF Inquisitor button right over here, close out of this, and then you're going to just import it in here and hit import. Now, once you do this, you will see the standard versions of the build. So if you've ever played this one before, you will see the entire leveling process, the Aegis Melding Swap, etc. If you've never used this before, a quick example here is basically you come to the tree, you hit level 1 to 12, it shows you where to go. You come to your items, it goes 1 to 12, so you can see what to get. Uh, do note that um, there are a few things I have not gotten to update. Basically, in the early levels, if you're trying to get more RF damage, don't focus on a plus 1 fire weapon. You want to focus more on fire damage and damage over time multiplier. Plus one gems are still strong, but they don't affect Righteous Fire in the same way anymore. So it's not our priority. Damage over time multiplier is the priority. And then under the skills, you can kind of see everything as well. Now, for people who want to try something a little bit different, I call this the experimental version. So down over here in the red section, the red section is basically the experimental, where it is trying on <clears throat> some more niche items, which are probably going to be pretty expensive, unfortunately. Uh, and it basically builds a non-block setup, so it's definitely going to be squishier when mapping. But it will have incredible clear at a 2 million Righteous Fire damage, which should feel very, very, very good to clear with. So this is the version I am probably going to aim towards. And then if I end up either A, not liking it, or B, just get bored with it or whatever, I will most likely switch into the Mono Righteous Fire. But for now, this is the version that I myself am going to pursue. So anyway, I uh, hope that helped you guys out. If it did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I do apologize that the format and everything is so rushed. I was not given much time, and I'm making do with what I have. So hope to see you guys in 3.23. Don't forget to hang out on the live stream at twitch.tv slash pox. If you have any questions during leveling, you can always just go ahead and head over there, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. One more thing to note, a nice advantage for newer players who are playing this build. If you get overwhelmed by loot, they actually have a loot filter, so you can just click this button right here. And this will pull up the 3.22 guide. This will be updated in probably an hour or two, maybe three. It'll be right before the league goes live, so you don't have to worry. This is the top one right here that you want to follow. And then the end game filter, you probably don't want to follow for quite a bit. Maybe like upper 90s, somewhere in there. When Basically, when you don't want to pick up loot. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in Rayclast.